This piano traveled 3,300 miles and now needs to move up this flight of stairs. Are three nerds up to the task? First step is for me to take off the seatbelt and for you to enjoy some ASMR. You gotta have the right tools for the job. And that includes shoving studio foam between the piano and the trailer. Tilting the piano for the dolly is no problem when you're really big and strong. It takes a maximum of one person to stop the piano from flying down the ramp. Then it's just as simple as playing leapfrog for the next 17 seconds until you get back onto solid ground. The first piano we tried to move in was significantly heavier and sank straight into the ground. So we figured out this really smart method, and then we didn't have to hire a professional mover. Way to support the piano industry. Here's the part where I lied to you and we actually go around the stairs instead of going up them. Land ho and in the back door, just like a pirate. Just gotta pull this down the hall and around the corner and oh no, how could I forget there was another piano here already? Guess we'll need to have a yard sale. In reverse direction, we tilt and pull and the piano's back on its feet. We'll go ahead and unwrap her like it's my birthday. Flip her off. Off, uh, up and do a walk around to make sure we didn't damage the finish. Looks good, so let's celebrate. Awkwardly.